Good morning, fellow privateers. Happy New Year to all of you in Asia. I've still got eight hours till 2019. I suspect I will not make make it to 12 bells tonight. Anyhow, I did promise you um, the, the go over some annual charts because it's the last trading day of the year here in the U.S. So let's get right down to it. We'll talk about some yearly closes. Um, I did pick out a few charts earlier today that um, we should probably post on Twitter. I'll get around to that. Um, here's the dollar index. Everyone was bearish dollars because 2017 was a down year. And if you remember back in last December um, when they investment banks were putting out their annual forecasts and their their um, predictions for 2018, a, a lot of it was dollar weakness. Well, people got carried out pretty much straight away in January, February with that uh, narrative did not play out. So what did we do? We did make a lower low for the year in dollar index down at 88 and we closed up here in the in the top third. So that to me looks like a fairly bullish yearly candle. Um, reversal higher. Um, you know, not too far from the highs of the year. And uh, we'll see how things play out. Uh, there's a lot of bears, a lot of dollar bears out there again um, to start 2019. Um, here is a, an extremely compelling chart, even though it's after, you know, it's not coming off like an all-time high, but the Australian dollar did make a very marginal new high this year. And I double-checked this with Bloomberg. Um, 81, called 81.36 in 2017. We were 81.25. So it made a new high by 10 pips, and we closed well below uh, the 2017 lows of uh, SPDR Gold Trust Holdings unchanged at 787.67 uh, metric tons. This counts. is kind of my favorite short. I'm not 100% sure if I what I would buy against it, if it's going to be the yen or if it's going to be the dollar. Um, you know, there's a lot of people calling for dollar yen to, to drop. And we'll look at that chart in a second. But Australian dollar, outside reversal, lower year. This is important. I do think that we start um, retracing. I think there's a lot going on between the China slowdown and I think now Australia's housing market that everyone's been calling for, you know, a pop in their housing market. I think it's actually kind of, I think it's going to happen in 2019. So, you know, we're close below this two thirds. This only goes back to the 90s, but either way, um, I think there there is no question whatsoever that we're going to take out these old lows at 68 on the 68 handle, which is back in 2016, I believe, um, and, and and trade lower. So this is kind of my favorite. I'm looking to sell. It's a bit oversold, obviously, uh, in the shorter term. So I'm not selling it right out of the gates, but I have seen. Um, markets basically close on the low, close to the low, and go straight down and trade lower for the next 12 months. So this one I'm watching. If we get below, let me just get over to like a daily chart. If we start getting closes under 70-20, 70, 15-20, you think you just got to be short. Um, anyhow, back to the yearly chart. So that's Australian dollar. Uh, Mexican peso was another one that popped up. Um, now, remember to t take all of the the closing prices for 2018 are pretty much five minutes from now. Here's dollar Mex. You know, National parks dealing with vandals, human waste, and shut down. And we had a perfect doji type close on the year, which is amazing. <laughs> we went all the way down to 18. We went up to 21 early in the year. And it's a, kind of a perfect doji inside year. Um, 
I don't know. That could go up or go down. I don't have a strong opinion in uh, dollar max. Um, we stick with the South African RAN. Had a big, almost an outside reversal bullish engulfing year. <clears throat> we closed just below 2017's highs. Um, I would imagine that this continues higher. You know, we're still we're still um, we still like selling risk rallies. So any kind of emerging market strength we like to sell into. Um, we talked about that last yesterday. Where it seems to be every every equity analyst's opinion on is to buy emerging markets and sell developed market equities, um, which I think could work in January. But uh, after that, not so sure. Here is um, CAD yen, and we're going to look at some yen charts. So this is a uh, you know pretty much same high as 2017, and we closed just below 17's, <clears throat> 17's low. Um, look at euro yen, reversal lower, sterling yen, reversal lower year, kiwi yen. Just lower high, lower low, lower close. Dollar yen is closing right on um, a Fibo on the dailies. Came in around 65, 109.65. So we close. We're you know we're well off the the lows of the year, down at 10, 104 handle. Uh, a lot of people like this lower. So that's why I'm thinking that Aussie yen short. If we get a decent rally in stocks in the first week of the year, <clears throat> first few days of the year, then I'm going to look to sell um, both stocks and I would choose Aussie Yen as my uh, as my currency uh, way to express risk off. Still the highest correlation. Um, let's go over to some of the equity indices. Uh, DAX. Um, very ugly, bearish engulfing, outside reversal, the weakest equity market, developed equity market, I think it was down about 25% this year. Um, we can go over to the Nikkei, these are all cash, a little cleaner, um, did just a reversal lower year, um, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if we take these out after we get a little rally. And, the first week or so of 2019, and then uh, UKX, which is the uh, FTSE in uh, in the UK, really ugly, really really ugly. Did close off its lows. So anyhow, um, <clears throat> those are kind of the most compelling charts. Uh, take a look at WTI. Uh, it's pretty ugly here. Actually, almost matched 2017's low. Kind of missed that when we were down on the 42 handle. Um, but, uh, yeah, so those are annual charts. Those are reversal patterns, engulfing, whatever you want to call them. Um, Australian dollar for me is number one on my radar for the start of the year. And I'll be looking to sell rallies in Aussie and Aussie crosses. And uh, so, so get your, um, you know, I could, I, I might tweet this later if I have the energy. Um, I'll, I'll put down um, the 2018 closes for, I don't know, 10 or 10 or 12 uh, markets that, that we follow pretty close. Pelosi, Schumer outlined plans for a bill that would end um, shut down. Right. So happy new year. And I'm sure no one will, no one's going to be listening to this until the, because uh, no one's in. The market is officially closed. But uh, wish all of you the best of luck in trading in 2019, and uh, you'll be hearing from us very soon. All the best. Cheers.